What do we have here? Iguana meatballs with spaghetti. Let's get it. First and foremost, this is the iguana sausage. It's already defrosted. This is the seasoning that I use. I just wanted to let you know we got it from the sausage maker. I'm very excited. I hear very good things about them. So that's the seasoning we have. I'm gonna get the water to boil. Um, but we're gonna make the meatballs first. I have a little onions and some minced garlic already in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the meat. Right, let's get down to it, baby. Let's grab our iguana sausage that's pre-seasoning with the sausage maker seasoning, hot Italian. The minced garlic's already in there, some onions, the Parmesan cheese. Once again, I didn't have breadcrumbs. I don't know why I don't buy it, so I'm using the cracker meal. Go ahead and grab yourself about two eggs. Get your clean hands in there and get them dirty. Don't be scared. After mixing everything, it should look similar to this. It smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and put it in the freezer. Uh, we don't want it to freeze, just get like icy. Now get yourself one tablespoon and you're gonna take two scoops to make each meatball and go ahead and do it so it's all the way across the sheet. Uh, make sure you put some type of non-stick sheet because it will stick. Now the good stuff, dive right in, get those iguana meatballs and garlic bread in the oven. So you saw the sauce that we'll be using, and these are the noodles. Go ahead and boil the water first, and you're gonna put these noodles in for about 12 minutes. Always read the box, each noodles are different. Go ahead and drain all the water out. Get your noodles nice and dry. I'll put cold water on there if I was used to the noodles will stop cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sauce now and put it right in the same exact pot and start heating it up. Once you get the sauce nice and warmed up, go ahead and throw in your noodles and mix it in nice and thoroughly. And for the main course, the meatballs. Here you're gonna see why you should use a non-stick sheet. All right, go ahead and try to pull them out and they are sticking. So the meatballs are absolutely delicious. The aroma, the smell from the Italian sausage seasoning is just phenomenal. Go ahead and get that out there and put all the meatballs in there. You're gonna mix it up and get all the noodles on top of the meatballs and then cover it and let it sit for about five minutes. If you made it this far, good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Here you go. Um, spaghetti and iguana meatballs with garlic bread. I'm very thankful that I'm able to make this. And I promise you, promise you one thing. If I gave you this meatball, there's no way you can tell me it's an iguana. It tastes just like sausage. So here are the noodles with a piece of meatball. That's it. I took a bite of the bread as well get all the flavors in at one time and I'm telling you this thing here is phenomenal so delicious so good oh I'm telling you you've never had iguana this right here is hitting so you probably think I'm always trying to build it up so the first 10 people to comment I want to try I will enter you into a raffle and I will cook you a meal and you will give your review live to see if I'm BSing or not. Matter of fact, challenge anybody to a cook-off. Comment if you want to get it. Have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed. And th all these meals are authentic and delicious. Please try one. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. First we catch them, then we cook them. When the client call, we book them. We can shoot them, we can hook them. Chase them down in the wild, then lay them in the pile. This iguana lifestyles, we've been hunting for a while. I can spot them from a mile. This iguana lifestyles, baby.